let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Hi everyone, Bob Black with Spider TV and I'm joined today by junior golf standout Brad Miller who's coming off a terrific weekend down at Marshall in Huntington, West Virginia. Brad, couple rounds of five under, you finished at eight under which ties for the all-time best in school history. What made you so successful this weekend? Um, I don't know, Just I've been working really hard this summer. Um, coach has been helping me out with my short game um, and you know, just kind of clicked. I don't really know what else to say than that. What did you do this summer that, that helped you in this tournament and you figure will help you moving forward? Yeah, um, well, after I won, I won a tournament freshman year and I sort of took a couple steps back um, after that. And uh, I don't know, just sort of a long journey that uh, sort of, I don't know, just kind of climbed my way back slowly but surely. Was there a point this past weekend when it kind of hit you that said, hey, I, I feel really good, I'm in a groove? Was there a shot or a hole particularly in which you said, I got a chance to be pretty good this weekend? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I played with the kid that won actually the first two tournament, the two rounds. So um, I actually didn't feel that good because I was three back after shooting 66. And uh, but you know, I was just I was making a lot of putts, which is what I've been working on. And uh, you know, doing that consistently is how you get the scores low. How about from the team standpoint? Uh, obviously, the team also performed very well. How good do you feel about all of the guys individually coming together collectively? Yeah, um, it feels good. Uh, we sort of stumbled in the second round, but came back, um, climbed five spots, I think, to come in fifth. Um, so to sort of have us all do well. I mean, in qualifying, we all shot under par to qualify, which I don't, I don't ever remember that happening. Um, so for all of us kind of to click at the same time, we're feeling good for the rest of the year. How excited are you about the next couple of events that are coming up, both uh, in your backyard here in Richmond? Yeah. You won't have to travel for them. Yeah, I'm excited. They're both courses we know really well. We actually qualified on both of them. Um, so, you know, hopefully we can keep shooting low scores on those courses too. What do you do between now and then to prepare to even hone your game a little bit more? What's the next focal point for you coming off of this good weekend? Um, you know, just keep doing the same thing. You can't really uh, try and fix anything. And we only have two weeks, I think, so you don't want to do anything too drastic. And uh, But, you know, if we're doing well so far, so if we can keep it going a little more and uh, just improve a little bit every day. All right, I want to finish up by not necessarily talking golf, but getting a little bit of the background of Brad Miller and maybe even the family tree a little bit. I understand that you have a connection, maybe far flung, to a swinger from a different sport, and that's baseball, <laughs> not golf. There's a connection between Brad Miller and Babe Ruth. What's that all about? Yeah, um, well, my great great grandfather owned the minor league Orioles um, and discovered Babe Ruth at St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore. But he was only 17 at the time, so he couldn't legally go um, on, the, on the road with the team. Um, so he, he had to sign adoption papers for him, I guess, technically. Um, and uh, so technically, I guess he's my great, great, like, uncle or something. But, I mean, other that's a pretty cool story, I guess. It is, and you found it easier to hit the little white golf ball than yeah. the little white baseball, didn't you? Yeah, I, I quit baseball for, uh, for this. This is a little more my my go-to. Keep up the good playing, Brad. Right, thanks. Thank you.